Why the change in crew chiefs? Yeah, so going into 2021, I'm going to have a change in crew chiefs. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I don't know, man. Just um, there was there was some periods of time this year where there was a bit of a struggle there for us. Obviously, uh, the communication was never a problem. Uh, the work ethic was never a problem. It just something wasn't working and clicking. And so I asked Adam for a couple changes to be made over the off season, and he didn't agree with my philosophy on those changes. So he said, "You know what? I'm going to go do something different." and let you do something different, and we'll see what happens. What were the changes that you requested? Personnel. So he didn't want to make those personnel changes. When he said that to you, that he wanted to go do something different, what was your reaction? I was shocked because I was like, well, essentially you just told me you quit on me. So, um, okay. See you later. Now I have to go find somebody else on, on who's going to be the next guy to step in and, and take over the reins and, and be crew chief for the, the 18 M&M's team. I mean, I can tell just looking at you when you're talking about it, like it uh, affects you. I flat out told him in the beginning of our conversation, I said, look, I believe in you. I trust in you. I want you. You're my guy. We've done this already for six years. We've won two championships. Like there's, there's chemistry here and, and we have a working relationship where we understand one another. And when we're at the racetrack and we're under normal circumstances, every time we're in the practice sessions and I ask for changes or I talk about how the car is reacting and he makes changes, we always improve. You know, and so I haven't had that with a lot of crew chiefs. Sometimes you talk about the same thing over and over again. The car's tight, the car's tight, the car's tight. From the moment you unload to the moment you go home, there's never improvement, there's never change. Adams has been the first guy that on any given weekend, there's always change in the car and how it feels. And that's what I liked about it, you know, and him. And so that's why I didn't want to lose that. Um, but I guess all good things must come to an end. What was involved with the assessment on your guys' end with making the decision to make a crew chief change? I think in, in this sport, um, I think um, that's just something that's, that's going to happen. It's rare that you see, you know, a crew chief and a driver go for an extended long period of time. Um, it's just something that you go through the ups and downs and everything that can happen in a racing season. And so uh, you see that happen quite a bit in this sport. Uh, so I think it's just something that Adam and Kyle had such a great relationship and won two championships and all the races they won. Uh, but I, I think, Everybody, when everybody sat down and talked about it, everybody felt like it was probably a time to, to change.